Happy birthday, America. We're celebrating our nation's independence with a fun-filled show ahead, including a patriotic trivia challenge. I will definitely win. Just kidding. <laughs> Who will be crowned this year's champion? Stay tuned to find out. We're facing off in a 4th of July edition of Supermarket Showdown. We're also going to answer your fan mail questions. And we have a brand new segment for you. We're looking back at our 4th of July favorite memories. But first, it's the five summer fun extravaganza. We're diving into some summer topics to celebrate 4th of July. First up, butter up your popcorn. Hollywood's summer blockbuster season is in full swing. Hey, Barbie. Can I come to your house tonight? Sure. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. So cool. Why would we go to the middle of nowhere for who knows how long? Why? Why? How about because this is the most important thing to ever happen in the history of the world? And those are just a couple Ooh. of the big flicks hitting theaters. So what's our all-time favorite blockbuster? I guess you know, we have some that are coming out um, th this summer. Maybe they will be our favorite. I know you were just saying in the commercial break that Barbie, you cannot wait. <laughs> well, you know, obviously he's a big collector of the toys. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Uh, the Barbie movie looks goofy, okay? I don't know that I'll see it. <laughs> I'll tell you what I want to see, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's guilty of false advertising, is Mission Impossible 7. OK, yeah. Yeah. this is technically the eighth installment of this film. OK, if they've pulled the mission off the first seven times, it's not that impossible. <laughs> about mission fairly difficult, but you never know. But OK, will. but I'm excited to see it because he does his own stunts and yeah. he's, he's a gangster. OK, and of course, there's a reboot of my favorite summer blockbuster series of all time, which is Indiana Jones starring Harrison Ford, who I love. Uh, there's a little more CGI in this one. From what I've told, it's more like Temple of Zoom because he's not really there for most of the <laughs> stunts, but I think it's going to be a banger. I'm looking forward to those two. For Jessica, we, a lot of us turn to you for our entertainment recommendations. <laughs> what do you have on your list? Well, I'm so psyched about Barbie. <laughs> like, really? That's, yes. Yes. Okay. I, so I love Ryan Gosling and I love Margot Robbie and Greta Gerwig is a champion. I, everything that she's done I think is fantastic and they're making such incredible fun of Barbie uh -huh. and the ridiculousness of this doll set and this world that it seems obviously dumb but also very smart. Like I love um, if in one of the promos they get arrested and Ryan Gosling's holding up his nameplate and it says Anne Ken because he was never Ken, right? It was just Barbie and Ken, and they say girlfriend, boyfriend, which is my favorite thing. Anyway, I'm excited about that, but Independence Day was my favorite. All time? So, I think so. I remember going with my parents to see Independence Day when it first yeah. came out. Yeah, I remember like it was yesterday. What about you, Judge? Um, you know, I don't have a favorite from this list. I mean, I'd like to see, uh, <laughs> first of all, Barbie, uh, it, it's, that's not one of the ones I'm gonna see. I, I, would, I, don't, I well, wouldn't I even watch it on a plane. Uh, I wouldn't watch it on a plane. Me neither. No, uh, but I like, uh, what I <laughs> celebrate, I think, like a 4th of July would be Top Gun. Mm -hmm. You know, to me, that's kind of a, you know, go get him. Um, and that would probably be my favorite 4th of July movie. Okay, on this list, Little Mermaid is your favorite? Oh. Just kidding. Uh, well, you know, I'm waiting for it to come out at home because I'm a little bit cheap and lazy that way. Yeah. So it's not going to come out till September for me. Mm -hmm. uh, but the two that I really honed in on the most are Oppenheimer and Barbie because they come out on my birthday. And, oh. I think, oh, and those two really are like two sides of my yeah. personality, you know, a yeah, whole yeah. bunch of pink, some war and bombs. Like that's really just sums me but up. Can you tell us one thing that you said in the break, which I think is yeah. great. You watched The Notebook? Yeah, well, you know the Ryan, the Ryan Gosling connection here. I'm a big fan of Margot Robbie and pretty much anything I she mean, does. I mean, any man. Uh, <laughs> and I just think she's incredibly talented. Uh, and beautiful. Ryan beautiful. Gosling, uh, I only will ever know him as Noah, the dude who, who's a carpenter and he's poor and he steals the heart of some rich girl and she treats him like complete garbage his whole life, but he loves her anyway. He even has kids with her and then he dives right beside her. I think that's a cool movie. I watched it with a bunch of Marines in our Iraq, that, when I watched it. And we all walked away from that going, 
Man, she was horrible. She was <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <that boy. laughs> she came around. But do you know? Do you know why men are crying during the Notebook? Yeah. It's because he was banking after them being married for 60 years on getting his sing yeah. single life back for a few years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but now they die on the same day. Well, she treats him bad, and yeah. then even in old age, she's like, I don't even know who you are. I just, you know? I do love the image of all the Marines watching the Notebook. And, and God bless you. Yeah. 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 All right, yeah. up next, everyone loves a good summer vacation, but please take your time when packing. One in five people say that they always realize they forgot to pack something after they've arrived. Top items we leave at home include water bottles. Who leaves that? Um, deodorant, sunscreen, a hat. Mm. Often you forget your hat. Judge, you travel a lot. Do you forget I, anything? I travel all the time. The one thing I always forget and never remember is a comb. There's something <laughs> about a comb that's just never there for me. But I do pack. You know what I do? I pack things for one overnight and then something for two overnights. Right. So I just pull that out. I pull that package out and it goes right in the suitcase. Let's put a comb in that bag. Uh, I should put, yeah. Yes. You know, do you think I thought of it? Without it. <laughs> Jessica? Sunscreen, but it's intentional because of the TSA rules. I really struggle with this. Like any good sunscreen, I know they make like the mini See, ones now, government but government regulations giving you cancer. I love that we've gotten to a government <laughs> problem. Right, right here in the A block. Right here in the A. But it's so expensive when you buy it wherever yeah. you're yes, going. It's like is. forty dollars yep. for yeah. it, and so I'm yeah. always like, please don't take it away. You can get the sunscreen wipes. Are those good? Yeah. Sure. Like it, as a they, fix it? they don't dry up before it gets from the box to your so. skin. No, I don't think so. <laughs> All right, problem solved. All right, what about you, Jimmy? Ooh, I'm a professional traveler because I'm on the That's road a right, lot for stand-up. Um, this is what I've noticed. The things people forget are the things you can get when you get there. What's on that list? It's like deodorant, yeah. toothpaste. You can get that. You're not supposed to forget the big things. So to me, big things. If you're going to the beach, you're going on the road, I need a speaker. Underwear. A Bluetooth speaker. Oh. Nah, it's, have you seen my act? I'm kidding. It's, uh, <laughs> not quite magic, Mike. It's tragic, Mike. But the point is, there's a lot of chubby chasers out there. Don't sell me short. Uh, Bluetooth speaker, charger, phone. Uh, I have a basic standard outfit I wear when I travel. Why? Because as a Fox News personality, I realized about a year ago, that you're going to be in a lot of pictures you didn't know you were going to be in. And one day I was at LaGuardia, I was taking a picture with a guy, he's like, this is going on my fridge. And I was like, oh my God, I'm probably in a thousand fridges <laughs> dressed like a, a circus clown. So now I pack a little more efficiently. Okay, all right. What about you? You travel a lot. Yeah, you know, I do travel. I just came back from a cruise, and it's not what I forget to bring on vacation with me. It's what I forget to bring that day and leave in the hotel room or leave in the room. <laughs> really? And when you go on a cruise, you get off the boat. Well, you know, you're not going to be back to your stuff until you get back on the boat. So what am I forgetting? Sunglasses, sunscreen. Pretty much everything you need to get off a boat on a cruise, I left in the room. And it's like, is it worth going all the way back? So then you had back? four pairs of sunglasses at the end of the... <laughs> oh, it's terrible. I, the things I have bought on vacation that I already owned at oh, home yep. are why I clutter. Okay, I want to tell you this story about something I thought I'd forgotten. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I go to this conference in Montana every year. And we, we go out there, Peter and I go together. And one year we get there. And it's hard to pack for because there's lots of different things. There's uh, there's like an outdoor component. There's an evening thing. Yes. And you know these yes. things. And there's the... <laughs> <laughs> sessions so I have my cowboy boots and I put all my undergarments in the cowboy boots right okay? yeah now I packed like five days before because I was really busy whatever so we get to Montana we're unpacking and I'm like <gasps> and Peter says what I said I, I don't have any undergarments and I'm panicking <laughs> literally panicking he's and called, there's one store in this tiny oh, town no. <laughs> it's closed and I'm like what am I gonna do what am I gonna do and I was almost in tears we, we got in a huge fight I said it was his fault because <laughs> I was supposed to lay everything out and then he was gonna pack it in the thing and at the last minute he said something like wait did you put it in the shoes I'm like oh <gasps> There they were. They were my cowboy boots. Oh, so I yeah. forgot. Yeah. Poor right. guy. I was yeah. I've never told that story out loud. Okay, up next, <laughs> crank up the radio. A good summer music playlist is always essential for a good time, and you know I'm tuned into the country station. But what other songs are we into this season? Got to go to you, Joey. What do you like? Oh, way down yonder on the Chattahoochee is the is the. <laughs> yeah, that's center. not a new song. No, no, <laughs> but that still gets your this song. This is new yes. as it gets for Joey Jones. That's my favorite. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I really like. I'm still in a Taylor Swift. Okay. I have not gone to the concert, um, and I now realize also that the prices will never drop. Um, 
so Taylor Swift and the Miley, the new Miley Cyrus stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I, I like always think of summer as kind of throwback, yes. like old stuff Boom. versus, I get it that things are songs in the summer and like Dua Lipa has had a few amazing ones, but I yep. like listening to stuff I know all the words to in the oh. summer. I was at a wedding where they, the Joe Barracotta band in New Jersey covered the Miley Cyrus, yeah, Miley Cyrus flower song and they were fantastic. Oh yeah, it's that great. Song. Yeah. What about you, Joe? Do you love your music? Well, yeah, I love, I love Miley Cyrus and I like the new song. Also, uh, last night, Morgan Whalen. That's a great song. Yeah, yeah. and oh, that's about it. Yeah. I'll, I'll co-sign the judge on Morgan Wallen last night because I don't listen to a lot of cur current stuff. What I listen to is highway music. The summer, it's a road trip summer. That's where you go. So I'm listening to a lot of like Leonard Skinner, Mr. Breeze. They call me the Breeze, that jam. I like that a lot. ZZ Top, Sharp Dress Man, which is now Sharp Dress Them, but stick with me. Still a good song. <laughs> but I like a lot of those jams. And I really like, uh, on the highway specifically, like 80s retro. That's what you said, throwbacks. Yeah. Tears for Fears, Everybody Wants to Rule yeah. the World, is a great 80 mile an hour song. It's and the, I think that's how you do it. It's the best song on the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Very well said. My so. favorite summer song right now is Gold by Dirks Bentley, followed by Sunsets in Colorado by Dirks Bentley. Wow. Ooh. And I could go on. There are more. <laughs> are Dirks they Bentley all Dirks songs. Bentley? They're, see, they're, all, my, they're all really good. Mine used to be Summertime by Will Smith, but it makes the comedians I'm traveling with think I'm going to smack them, <laughs> I so I Kenny, can't play I it, I it anymore. I had Kenny Chesney summer last year. It's a Dirks one this year. All right.